Hi guys, it's Sparkling Mini Moo. How are you? So this is part three of Chat with Rachel, and this is the last segment of me finishing up um, the questions that were asked during the giveaway. I know it's taken me a while to upload this video, so I do apologize, but I have been super busy. Um, Nancy asked, what are your 10 favorite things to do in Disney World? as far as rides, places to eat, shows, and parades. And, um, well, Nancy, first is the Polynesian. I love staying at the Polynesian Resort and Hotel. It's my favorite one to stay at. Secondly, I love watching the nighttime water parade, or the call. it's called the nighttime water electric um, parade, and I love watching um, that parade. It goes right in front of the Polynesian. You can sit out on the beach and watch it. I love it. Uh, the next thing is my favorite drink is the uh, Sunburst um, that you get at the Polynesian. I love that drink. It's a non-alcoholic drink so your kids can get it. And um, it's more like a fruit punch drink and it has fruit in it. They even put a little umbrella in it which I think is really cute. And um, my fourth favorite thing to do is when I arrive in my hotel room is to find all the Mickey ears in our hotel. My kids have so much fun with that. And it usually takes us about two days, you know, total to probably find all the hidden Mickeys. So if you've never been to Disney World, when you stay on site at a Disney Resort and Hotel, keep in mind they have hidden Mickeys in your room. So I love doing that. The fifth thing that I love to do so much is when I arrive and I go into the Magic Kingdom, the, for the first time during that vacation time is I absolutely love standing on Main Street and just looking at Cinderella's castle. I mean, that feeling for me hasn't changed since I've been a kid and I just get overwhelmed with excitement because that castle is just breathtaking. As far as my rides go, I have four rides that I like and one from each park. So at the Magic Kingdom, my favorite ride is It's a Small World. My favorite ride in Epcot is Test Track. My favorite ride at um, Animal Kingdom is the Mount Everest roller coaster. And then my favorite ride in um, um, uh, Hollywood Studios is Tower of Terror because my husband and I are big Twilight Zone Rod Sterling fans and I just love that ride. And last but not least, my favorite dinner show, this is number 10, would have to be the Spirit of Aloha at the Polynesian. And um, when I was a little girl, we did that every single trip along with the hoopty doo but I loved that um, dinner show the best, The Spirit of Aloha. It is phenomenal. It's worth every penny. So I hope that answers your question, Nancy. And um, Nancy was also the winner of the giveaway. And um, her and her family have a uh, YouTube channel called uh, Disney Family Fun Time. So if you're interested in Disneyland, she offers a lot of videos on her channel regarding Disneyland as, as they have been there multiple times. So you may want to go check her channel out. Again, it's Disney Family Fun Time. So the next question came from Shana, and Shana asked, what is your favorite resort that you stayed in, and do you prefer staying on the Walt Disney World Resort compared to outside of it? Well, Shana, my favorite resort is definitely the Polynesian Hotel and Resort. I've stayed at other resorts there. Uh, the only other two that I've stayed at is the Contemporary and the Wilderness Lodge because they all opened up uh, the first year Disney was open. And those are the only other three hotels that I've stayed at. I mean, other two, but I prefer the Polynesian out of all of them. Um, as far as do I prefer to stay on site versus off site, to be honest with you, Shana, I've never stayed off site. I've always stayed with inside the Walt Disney World parks. I've had friends who have stayed outside, and when they talk about their experience versus my experience, it's a completely different experience. I mean, I know not everybody can afford, you know, to stay at a deluxe resort, but to be honest with you, Disney really does make it affordable for anybody to stay with inside the parks. So personally, I feel, why would you stay outside the park? I mean, they have value resorts, they have moderate resorts, and then they have your deluxe resorts. But everybody I know that has stayed outside the park 
wish they would have stayed inside. So you might want to consider staying inside the park if you plan on booking a trip. So I hope that helps. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Zoe wrote, which character describes your personality? That would have to be Minnie Mouse because she is just so uh, Miss Prissy-like. And I am what, I don't know if you would consider me being kind of like Miss Prissy. My husband says I'm a girly girl. He's like, you are a princess through and through and you can be Pr Miss Prissy-like. So um, I guess I would definitely have to say um, Minnie Mouse because she knows how to turn on that Miss Prissy princess attitude, but then she knows how to turn it off and let her hair down and have a good time. So definitely Minnie Mouse. Um, Michelle or M-Y-C-H-E-L asked why you love Disney at your age. Yes, I'm older, but there's no age limit as to how much you can love Disney World. The number one reason probably why I love Disney World at my age is because I have been going to Disney World since I've been five months old. Um, Disney World opened October 1st, okay, of 1971. And I was born in February of 1972, okay? I was born on leap year, February 29th. And my first trip to Disney World was that June, okay? So my mom has a picture of me as an infant in my daddy's arms. We stayed at the Wilderness Lodge, which opened up that November of 71. So my first trip to Walt Disney World was the first summer that it was open. And then you have to understand, I went every single year after that. It became my home away from home. It, it was it was a part of me. It, it just became a part of me. It's kind of like, you know, from the time you're born until now, certain people have been in your life, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, they're a part of you. And Disney World is kind of like a part of me. And it's something that will forever stay a part of me. And I mean, at my age, it's like, you know, it's it's just part of it's just part of who I am, and and I just love Disney World, and I just love going there and experiencing experiencing um, Disney with my kids now. So, um, also the question she uh, oh no, Michelle also asked me who invented Mickey Mouse. Well, Mickey Mouse was invented in 1928 in November, and. Um, I remember the first cartoon, which was a uh, steamboat, and Mickey's name was Willie in that, and it's black and white, and you can probably pull up that video on YouTube and watch it. But um, Walt Disney had the idea of a mouse in his head, okay? But he really didn't know how to put it on paper. So he had to find somebody who could draw Mickey, and he had a friend that could do that. So, um, but... It kind of came from the idea of Walt himself. So um, I hope that answers your question. And um, somebody asked me, what was the name of um, the Mickey Mouse record album released in 1979 that went multi-platinum? Well, I was seven years old and my favorite song on there was It's a Small World and it was the Mickey Mouse Disco. And I actually had the record on like my little 45, you know, record player. And my favorite song on there was It's a Small World. So um, there's the answer to that question. Also, I had got, let me make sure I covered everything. Uh, Maureen, M-Y-R-E-N-E. Um, she had asked, I'm 43 and haven't been to Disney. Being 43 years of age and thinking of going by myself, what do you think I'll enjoy the most? I would like to know when to start saving. What is the best transportation during my Disney stay? And do I need a travel agent? Well, if you've never been to Disney World, I highly recommend you get a travel agent. And you want to get somebody who is an expert in specifically booking Walt Disney World vacations. It's kind of like my travel agent. She's a Disney Vacation Club member. So she goes to Disney all the time, all season long, throughout the year. So um, she's definitely an expert. So try to find an agent that's an expert on booking Walt Disney um, trips. 
Um, when you want to start saving, start saving a year in advance, okay? So you only need $200 to book your Walt Disney World vacation. You need a $200 deposit, and that guarantees your spot, okay? If you decide at some point you need to cancel that trip due to some type of financial um, situation that arises, you have up to 45 days, okay, to cancel your trip and get all your money back. But throughout the year, you can make payments on your trip as long as you're paid in full before the 45 days. You have to be paid in full. Um, as far as the best transportation, that all depends. It all depends if you're a traveler by car. If you love to travel by car and you love passing, you know, scenery and um, you, you're, you're just a road person. Um, but if you're more like my family and I, and you just want to get there and make a beeline for it, well, then you might enjoy flying. And Disney takes care of transportation to and from at the hotel if you're staying at a Walt Disney World Resort and Hotel. And you can check out my Magical Express video for further information on that. As far as, like I said, when to start saving, I gave you a little bit of tip on that. You know, you need to make a $200 deposit. Okay, and then um, you can make little payments um, throughout, you know, all the way up 45 days till you arrive. If you rather just pay it all in one lump sum, you can do that too. It's really up to you. As far as saving for souvenirs, though, when you go to Disney World, I always start saving a year out. So we usually book our trip in January because we like to go in December when it's not so crowded. So I save for souvenirs for the next 11 to 12 months, okay? I just put a little bit of money aside because I don't like to set um, restrictions on souvenirs when we go to Disney World. So I try to make sure that we save, save, save. So um, you really have to figure out where you want to stay, what kind of magical package you want to put together, and that will determine your pricing. Where, which hotel am I staying at? Am I going to do the dining plan? Am I going to do dinner shows? You know, you have to take so much into consideration. You can actually go to the Walt Disney World website and kind of play with it a little bit and pretend like you're booking a trip without actually booking a trip and kind of price it out. As far as being 43 years old and haven't been to Disney, being 43, what would you like to do? Well, I don't know your personality that well to know what you would like or what you wouldn't like. I mean, I'm 42 and I love the roller coasters, okay? I love standing in line and meeting all the characters. You might enjoy a dinner show. If you're somebody who likes to be entertained and enjo enjoys theater and enjoys um, musicals and enjoys um, going to theatrical performances, then you might enjoy some dinner shows. So you might want to think about booking the hoop de doo You might want to think about booking um, the Spirit of Aloha dinner. Um, if you're somebody, or you might want to book, you know, you don't have to book, but you might want to go to the Fantasia show. Disney offers multiple shows all year long. It just depends on what time of year you're going as to what shows are going to be made available to you. Um, you might love in tour touring all the countries in Epcot. We love doing that. You can hit Japan and France and Italy and Mexico and, um, did I say France? China. So um, you might enjoy touring all the different countries and they do little performances and entertaining their, you know, throughout the day. There is so much at Disney World that you can do at 43 years old. Don't let your age hold you back from doing anything. Um, if you plan on going by yourself, that's great, but you might want to consider maybe being bringing a friend or bringing a relative and having somebody else. Because when you're with somebody else, you can just really embrace the magic together and just really have somebody to kind of hang out with and get on the rides with and just kind of enjoy the vacation time with. So um, those are all the questions, I think. Um, hopefully I didn't leave anybody's um, question out. If I did, let me know, I apologize. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a magical day. May the Lord bless you and just keep you in his grace. Bye, guys.